big family favorite, actually just a big favorite. I mean, it's probably the nation's favorite, baked beans. So this is my version of it. We're taking baked beans, but we're pimping them up. We're making them into something a little bit more, well, something a bit more special. You could put bits of chorizo through it. You could put some smoked sausage. You could put all sorts of things, but this works as this great base level, all right? So this is pimped baked beans. Starting off with pan, with a little bit of olive oil. I've got one large onion, diced, and it's gonna go in and sweat it down, okay? Pinch of salt, now the salt is good because it draws out the moisture from the onions. To go with them, some garlic, okay? So I've got here two and a half cloves of garlic. We're just gonna thinly slice them up, and the garlic can go in with the onion. Okay, after about four or five minutes, the sizzling begins to slow down. That means that the liquid is beginning to evaporate and the onions beginning to soften and change color and flavor. The natural kind of sugars are coming out and that salt's drawing all the moisture from them. Still got texture, still got a little bit of crunch to them and that's fine, that's what we want. Right at the beginning, right at the start of the cooking process of the tomato sauce, we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of soft, dark brown sugar and it's got that I mean, it's that kind of unrefined smell. It's, I mean, it's amazing, a little bit treacly. I mean, it's fantastic, okay? But then into that, I'm gonna add vinegar. So you're gonna put equal parts sugar to vinegar, okay? So two tablespoons of the red wine vinegar. And I would say pretty much every grown up and adult, the nicest thing about tomato sauce is that level of balance. And that's what we're making here. So as that reduces, the vinegar and the sugar begin to caramelize together and create kind of a syrup. And into that, I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of dried thyme, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and half a teaspoon of chili flakes. It's the dried ones, you stir it around. And this is a base layer and level of flavor. And then into that, tomato puree. Now there's two tablespoons of it here. You stir that tomato puree around. You need to kind of roast it and caramelize it. So the more you stir it, the more you can smell those flavors coming out. At this point, you can add two tins of tomatoes. And stir them around and just kind of break them up and squish them with your spoon or your spatula or whatever you've got. And you can see the richness of that base. And at this point, I'm gonna add two tins of cooked drained cannellini beans. I could even use kidney beans. It's absolutely fine. Any of the cooked pulses, drain the liquid from them, stir them around, and then mix it into your tomato sauce. Give it a pinch of salt, a little pinch of black pepper, and then these, just some sprigs of rosemary. I'm gonna stir it in. I'm gonna leave it on a gentle heat. And we're gonna cook it around about 25 minutes. 25 minutes later, you are left with these. And they are rich, delicious, super tasty. It's a proper pimped version of baked beans. Now, as you can see, a bowl of this works perfectly on its own. Served on some sourdough toast, amazing. This for me though, is pretty perfect. Which it is. The recipe for this is in the comments below. It is really easy. Subscribe to the channel, watch some more recipes like this, and have a go at cooking.